Okay, this is part two of the Rocket Fish Universal CPU Cooler. I I have it installed. Um, since I know most people reading listen, uh, listening in on this will be looking for numbers, I'm going to give you some numbers. All right. With the GPU overclocked to 750 and the memory overclocked to 350, and the processor, the CPU overclocked from 2,000 meg megahertz to 2132 and with the install with this new cooler CPU temperatures was 144 core temperature 118 and GPU was 131 now the maximums before I put in this cooler were 150 126 and 131 for the CPU core and GPU respectively. Now the idle temperatures for the CPU have also gone down about 9 degrees and have also gone down for the core as well. GPU, understandably, the core the idle temperature has not changed nor has the running temperature changed. Seeing as it does not it's not really close enough to make that kind of effect. As you can see, it's a nice big fan. I've got this. Is, this is a fan here. Now the thing about it is the stock, the stock uh, 754 socket cooler has a little clip on it, which you can see back here. Now, as you may notice, it is backwards. I have it orientated backwards. One, because I didn't want these two copper heat pipes to stick down here and possibly touch my graphics card or anything else. So, having done that, I had to reverse the orientation of the clip. This was a bit of a frustration point for me because it was a little tricky. It took me about a minute to figure out why it wouldn't fit in. So, be sure to put the clip handle itself on the side of the heat pipes that are sticking out. Also, another another thing that I wasn't so happy about. When it came, when I got it in the mail, I opened it up and the copper base was not polished. I spent about 15 minutes with Q-tips and isopropyl alcohol and cleaned up a whole bunch of crap, which you saw in video one. But once I got it cleaned up, got thermal compound in it, I had to I used my fingers. I used my finger, I coated the uh, the copper base and my finger with a little bit of the, a little bit of the compound rubbed it in real good so it got in all the little, little grooves and did the same with the CPU which obviously didn't have the grooves put a nice thin coat stuck it on clamped it in plugged it in turned everything on let it idle and then I used uh, Intune and Nvidia Intune to uh, do a test on it and I got those numbers. Once again, with this new cooler, I had a drop of, oh, let's see, 6 to 8 Fahrenheit, and about, so it's about the same, 6 to 8 Fahrenheit drop on the core in the CPU. Alright, I hope you, may, hope this, hope you find this helpful.